The Saran Navratri is gonna begin. So let me show you simple yet yummy recipes to prepare offerings during puja. In this video, let's see how to make firni with very basic ingredients. This is Arya and welcome back to our channel. By the way, have you subscribed to my channel? If you have not done so, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon next to it. Let's see the ingredients required to prepare firni. I'll be adding a secret ingredient somewhere in between the video. To know what it is, watch the complete video. Ingredients required are half a liter of full cream milk, half a cup of sugar, five spoons of basmati or normal rice, two tablespoons of ghee, cashew nuts, almonds or badam, and pista. Let's now begin the process of making firni. Take 5 spoons of basmati rice into a bowl. Basmati rice gives nice taste and fragrance to firni. If you don't have basmati rice, then go for normal rice. Clean the rice with water for 2-3 to three times and then soak it in water for 15-20 minutes. Meanwhile, let's chop almonds and pistas and keep them ready. If you love cashews and almonds, you can use as many as you want. After soaking the rice for 15-20 minutes, drain the excess water out of it. Spread the rice like this and let it dry for 5 more minutes. It need not even become completely dry. Now transfer the soaked rice and cashew nuts into a mixer jar to prepare a nice mixture. More number of cashews add more creamy texture to firni. Make sure you don't grind it into a fine powder. Instead, let it be little coarse and grained. Take a bowl and add some cold milk to it. Now mix the already prepared powder in this cold milk properly. This way of mixing the powder in cold milk and then only transferring it into hot milk helps us in avoiding clumps. Take half a liter of full cream milk into a pan and then heat it. Make sure of two things here. Number one, the base of the pan should be thick. Number two, do not add water to milk. Once the milk is boiled, take the mixture of cold milk, almond and rice powder and mix it with this hot milk. Give it a proper stir and uh, see to that there are no clumps formed. Close it with a lid and wait for 3-4 minutes. Stir it occasionally, like uh, once in 2 minutes or something. Make sure you mix whatever is at the sides of the pan as well because that is malai, that is cream and that adds taste to firni. This will be cooked uh, properly in just uh, 10 minutes. Once it is cooked properly, lastly add half a cup of sugar. The ingredients and their measurements that I've shown you are like perfect. I've tasted it once it is done and those are like perfect measurements uh, is what I can say. Again, if you want it to be sweeter, you can add some more sugar to it. And don't forget to give it a stir while adding sugar. Time to add the secret ingredient and that is instant badam mix. Add 3 spoons of instant badam mix to firni. Trust me, it adds more taste to this dessert. Now add 2 spoons of ghee to it and mix it. Firni has become this thick because of the cashew powder in it. Cashew powder made it thick and yummy too. Finally sprinkle chopped almonds and chopped pista on top of this firni. If you are a cashew nut lover then you can add cashews as well. Firni is as simple as that and it is ready. This is now ready and so you can transfer it into a serving bowl and then have it. Also, this can be used as an offering during Navratri Puja. Comment and let me know if you want me to make more videos on recipes for Navratri Puja. If you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a big fat thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, I'll be posting Navratri special videos very soon. So, if you don't want to miss them, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon next to it. Only then you'll be getting notifications whenever I post a new video. 
You can also follow me on Instagram. I'll be providing the link in the description below. Catch me on another episode. Until then, stay home, stay safe and stay connected with me.